What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Season. So today, when I woke up this morning, we actually got some very interesting news um, out of Sentinel. It looks like we are going to be getting a, uh, I guess it's under Ryobots. Let's go to D4 Toys here real quick. And uh, yeah, it's fr from Sentinel. It's called the Ryobot Voltron. This is the actual exclusive edition. Um, usually D4 does exclusive editions uh, for their sets. I think, because if I remember correctly, D4 is out of China. And I think this is where most people's manufacturing is done. And so I usually order from this site. So, you know, for those who are looking for exclusive stuff, I, I usually do get my stuff from d Force. So anyways, let's get into it. So we've got a price right now of uh, 697 that is the official retail price that is that is pretty expensive now if you get it through d4 toys um you can get it for a 641 that's their pre-order discount so um you've got that and then you've got a release date of uh june 2024 so uh roughly a little bit uh, under a year away so you've got that um this is going to be die cast so it's also roughly about, I want to say like 12.2 inches is the last, is the uh, conversion. Uh, they've got 310 millimeters here uh, for the full height, but I think that registers. It's over, it's over 12 inches for sure. So let's take a look at some of these uh, picks here. So it does look solid. Now, of course, this comes from the uh, Netflix uh, Legendary Defender show. Uh, I want to say, when did that come out? Like two, three years ago? Something like that. I can't remember. It's been so long, but uh, it was it was a good show. I actually did like this show a bit, at least the first couple of seasons. I didn't like what they did with some of the older characters. Um, the fact that Keith is not the head of the Voltron Force was kind of weird to me, and some of the the plot points they did with show, especially towards the end of the show, I wasn't too big of a fan of. But I think overall, this is probably still the best uh, sequel that we ever got to uh, the original Go Line or Voltron. Uh, so I'm an 80s kid, so I always preferred the original design. But, um, you know, for a modern audience, you know, I think that this design is fine. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting this. I mean, I like Voltron, but like I said, I, I prefer the original design. I just think that the original design is better. Um, but I know that there are a lot of fans of the Legendary Defender. So uh, I'm sure that this one will probably sell pretty well. So it does look like it's going to have some really decent articulation there. And uh, the scope looks good, even though I will say that this kind of does look plastically. I did kind of, I know it has die cast in it, but I'm, I imagine that's probably just the joints and stuff. But because um, it does look like it's got a gloss here. I don't know, but something about it, it looks kind of. I don't know if I don't know if I'd say faded. Maybe that's just the design itself. I don't know. But anyway, all right. Let's, so let's keep going. So of course, with the D4 exclusive here, uh, the exclusive uh, parts that you get for this is uh, the special feathered parts for the Black Lion. So um, you get that. That is included in this uh, exclusive edition. I have not seen that on any other site. I've only seen it on the D4. Now, of course, it's still early in the morning, so I haven't really actually got a chance to look at all the sites that I normally buy stuff from uh, to see if they're actually going to have this special edition. But I know for a fact that D4 will have it. So and you get all the it looks like all the beaming effects and uh, special effects for the, the separate lions. And uh, and yeah, so and they're going to be transformable. It looks like you've got uh, the shields and stuff for the multiple modes that the, this Voltron had. I actually did. That was actually one of the best parts I thought. Uh, about the original um or about this series is that even though when the black lion and the the blazing sword even though i think they kind of dropped the ball on the blazing sword i don't i don't you know this kind of like neon effect stuff i'm not a personal uh fan of but overall i think it was good you know you had the the shield now will you actually be able to get the other modes for voltron i'm not sure uh, i haven't seen anything that would uh tell me that you are let me look at here Let's see what we've got here. So this is just the lions here. We saw that picture already. Uh, doesn't look like it, but that would be interesting if you could. I don't know if they, that would be a little bit difficult to pull off, I think, uh, for this. But yeah, so we've got June 2024. 20, you've got a pre-order price of $6.97 uh, for if you go through D4. And I will be putting the, 
links in the description for all the stuff that I talk about today if you want to take a look at it for yourself but they've got a pre-order price of 641 it is going to be expensive and also you know the interesting thing about that too is especially when it comes to like more higher end figures I think we're reaching a point to where they're they're getting up there as far as their price is concerned I mean whether it was the the uh, the metal structure new that kind of started it off that metal build or metal structure was over a thousand dollars to start and you know especially if you're getting this stuff overseas you still got to pay for shipping they're coming in extremely big boxes now to their credit these things are not like a one by 100 scale or anything most of them are actually relatively big uh, but i do think that kind of the prices for a lot of these things are getting out of hand i mean 700 bucks you're asking a lot <laughs> so um but you know if you're a collector and especially like i would say this is this really started happening during the you know pandemic i think everything after the pandemic i don't know if it has to do with uh, these companies production or maybe they just you know they they think that it's worth that and uh, i'm not here to say that it's not worth that price all i'm saying is that you know these prices are getting kind of kind of crazy so um also what we've got here is i wanted to talk about the since i'm going to be talking about voltron today uh i wanted to talk about the blitzway voltron now they actually have a japanese exclusive edition and i actually did pre-order this now this was actually supposed to come out last month it was supposed to come out in uh in october but it looks like it's been pushed back to uh, November. I'm using Hobby Link Japan right now. I have uh, gotten conflicting news on this because it looks like some of the other Japanese sites that I've used say that, do that, that they do have it in stock, but I have not seen anybody post anything about this yet. So, um, you know, uh, I, I'm going to say that it's probably for everybody. It looks like the it's been pushed back to 2023. So the thing about this set that I really, really liked, because my main problem with the original um, Voltron was, even though I think that if I'm going to be honest, I do believe that this is the best uh, 80s Go Lion or Voltron that's been created. This one was extremely high. Uh, this one, I think, was almost, it was between seven and 800 bucks when this first came out. Now, I will say that this one has been rel relatively easy to find for us in the United States. So, it's, this one is very, very good. Uh, and honestly, it looks more like the anime than the um, Solo Chigokin version. I actually have the Solo Chigokin version. That was the main reason why I didn't buy this one uh, when it first came out. Because even though this one has lighting effects and stuff, and you guys already know what I feel about lighting effects. I spoke about it at nauseum in previous videos. Uh, but this one is more kind of looks like it did in the series. I think that's what's so appealing about this guy. And... Uh, the thing about the Japanese exclusive set, really the only difference is that they split this into, let's go to Hobby Link Japan here. They split it in half. So what they did was, this one is like uh, 444. Um, that was the pre-order price, I think. Um, but the thing is, this just comes with Voltron. So this just comes with the bots and you get this new uh, Juken or uh, uh, Blazing Sword uh, effect part. And I really like that. I I really am a kind of like a I love effect parts, especially for like a lot of these like super robots and stuff like that. And the more times that I can get effect parts like that, because that's usually the the scene that most people uh, remember most from the show. But uh, so you only get the bot here, and then you get and then you could actually get the stand separately. And but with this one, I do like the fact that they put the figures in there, because for me. Uh, I have the Solo Jigokin Voltron, and what I'll probably do is I will probably keep those in Lion mode and then have these because I've always wanted to recreate like the end credits from Go Lion or from uh, Voltron and where they were kind of standing on the lion's heads. I've always really wanted to recreate that scene. So uh, that will be interesting. So I'm glad that they come with that part. Now, uh, if you just wanted to get the stands and the stands has of course it has like the trails uh from the lines actually i think that that's uh pretty unique I, i've never seen a stand that had that because uh, that was very prevalent in the show uh but you get the stand here and it looks like you'll get all the weapons for the lion the reason why i didn't get 
get this is because be honest i'm never going to have it in lion mode never and you know so even though this one has uh you get like all the effect parts for the um for the lions themselves i'm never going to have it in lion mode so even though i like it i'm glad that they split it up and that actually helps with the price uh for it so even though i like the stand and i like what they did with it uh i just wanted voltron himself and so that's what i went with but uh but yeah so you look at that um, that you can uh effect that looks amazing i love it um so i wish they actually had a, a couple of more effect parts for it but you know I will take this one any day. <laughs> so uh, that's what I've got for you as far as a video for today. So I just wanted to get this one out. Um, I will be putting a links for all the stuff that I found. Now, also, if you actually want the original, uh, let me go back here. If you actually want the original one that had both parts, so it had the uh, Voltron or all the lions and it had the uh, stand that one's still readily readily available and it's held its price pretty well i think i usually see it online i've seen it as low as 650 uh if some site is having a sale or something and i've seen it as high as like eight or nine hundred but if you are still looking for this i will put that link for uh, amazon in the description i think right now they have it for like 699 uh, so if you just want the, the original set that has everything, uh, with it, um, the Japanese exclusive one has been pretty much sold out from everywhere that I've seen, uh, like pre-orders have stopped and all of that. So, uh, I have not seen any of these still available as far as for pre-order or anything like that, unfortunately. Uh, but if you want the original one, uh, that one will be in the description below. So that's what I've got for you today. So Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.